everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today we are playing with a palette that I'm so excited to use and to show you guys. I've had this in my stash for a little bit over a week now and I really, really wanted to try it. Colours make me so excited for summer and it just looks beautiful. <laughs> you may or may not begin a sneak peek on my eyes so just don't don't look at it, okay? It's a secret. You're not allowed to look. You're still looking Boop. Today I'm going to be showing you and trying out the Tan Lines palette by Jouer. This is a new kind of spring summer release and when I saw this online I knew I needed to have it. <laughs> Never actually tried a palette from Jouer so I really wanted to try out their formula and the colours just looked magical and the finishes looked magical so I just wanted to try this baby out so I'm gonna show you what it goes on the eye like. Is it patchy? Does it blend out? Are the foils really as foily as they look in the pan? You definitely can't see from over there what my eyes look like. I will not give anything away. Try not to blink. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to show you how this performs, blends, applies, everything, all of the above. And I'm going to show you how I created this look. So if you're interested in seeing what this goes on like, then please keep on watching. But before we get into the swatches and also the application, if you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Kiriel. I would love to have you here. It means the world when people just hit the red subscribe button and the bell button. It's such a simple thing, but it means so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. I know there's loads of people on YouTube here, so it really means a lot that you decide to choose me, little me, what? So I got this off Beauty Bay. You can also get it off Cult Beauty, I believe. It is 26 pounds and it is a nine pan eyeshadow palette. This is the outside packaging, very pretty. It's a very light baby pink with white and gold ferns. And then it has the actual eyeshadow palette details on the back of the outer carton. And then the inside is where the party is, okay? This is what the actual palette looks like and I can't get over how summery and beautiful this is. It looks like a gorgeous Spanish sunset as as far as I'm concerned when you see pictures of Spain this is what the sunsets look like but it is gorgeous it has again the like fern things on it with tan lines in gold and then when you open this baby up this is what it looks like inside we have three foils two shimmers and four matte shades and as you can see it has pops of color in here it has your neutrals with blues greens limes it's got a bit of rose gold it's got a bit of champagne it's got a little bit of bronze there is a lot of options in here it also has a mirror on here which I haven't actually taken the sticky thing off should we do it together? Ready? One, two, three. Oh yeah. See, it comes with a decent sized mirror so you can see like both eyes in it. You can't see your whole face, but you can see eye level. <laughs> it's a pretty compact, sleek palette. Like this would be good for traveling. But yeah, that's enough about the basics. Let's get into the fun stuff. I am going to swatch these on my arm for you guys because it's pretty much a blank canvas. So you can see the true shades on my skin tone. But yeah, then we're going to get into this makeup look right here. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so these are the swatches of the shades. The matte ones here, they were uh, super duper hard pressed into the pans and not a lot of pigment came out on my arm and I did have to layer them a little bit. We'll see how it performs on the eyes. Obviously this is not the end all be all. But let's just go through these. So this is Beachaholic, Sure Thing, Heat Wave, Tankini, Driftwood, Tide Pool, Vitamin C, Limelight and Sunburst. The green shade Limelight is a matte and it was the most creamy out of all of them. All of the rest of them were very hard pressed and obviously you can see the different foils there they were a dream to swatch they went on so easy with the finger the shimmers were very creamy also and very smooth but yeah that is the shades all swatch for you guys all right so we are real up close and personal today also i'm trying manual focus so i don't go in and out of focus all the time just to see if that improves the video i don't know <laughs> but this is pretty much as close as it gets so uh all right, so I'm first off gonna prime. I'm gonna use my P. Louise base as per usual, just to give these shadows a fair try. I put a lot of that on. <laughs> just gonna spread a little bit of this on the other side because I put way too much on. <laughs> also, I know it's pretty much my motto after all this time, but my eyebrows need uh, doing. <laughs> so please ignore them right now. They a mess. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this palette. I have not even opened it yet, so let's get into it. Super pretty packaging. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is just stunning. I'm gonna have revealed it to you already, but it's my first time actually picking it up and it's friggin' gorgeous. Summer vibes, oh my god. Look how insane these all look. 
That blue is just really calling to me. Coppery shade. Oh my gosh. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with my eyes right now. <laughs> all right, well, I'm first of all going to go in with the color Driftwood. There's a decent amount of pigment on the brush and there's not a lot of kick up in the pan. There is a little bit. It's not even sufficient enough to really comment about, but just let it make you aware. Okay, and I am going to start this on the outer corner and put it through the crease. This is the darkest color in the palette, so there's not a lot of depth to it. This is a really nice brown. Just going to take this up and then through a crease that I'm going to create and I'm stopping halfway there. So that's taken a few dips to get the kind of pigment that I want and I've used it on kind of like a dense brush so you know it's not the most pigmented thing but it's not bad and it's not really patchy. Obviously I haven't blended this yet so I don't know what it blends like. Slow you will. But it's, but it's a nice colour. Although looking at the actual palette I would have expected it to maybe be a little bit warmer. Anyway I'm going to blend this out now. I'm going to take the colour Heat Wave which is like a peachy pink. Again, a little bit of fallout, but not that much. These are kind of hard pressed, but let's try and blend these edges out. I'm just going to stamp it around the edge of the driftwood colour, and then we go and blend it in a second. These are really vibrant but soft colours. I feel like this palette is going to be quite user friendly. The colour almost looks like it's blending itself. It works really smoothly. Okay, now I'm going to take a small little fluffy brush and I'm just going to Buff and blend a little bit more driftwood. All right, I would say that's blended decently well. Now I really want to blow it out. This brush looks like it's got eyeshadow on it, but I swear it doesn't. It's just stained blue. <laughs> I'm going to take the color Beachaholic from the palette, which is the lightest peachy shade. Again, a little bit of fallout, but nothing crazy. So far, formula wise, the mattes are pretty consistent. I'm just going to start dragging out this color and really blend this out. I want it to be super duper soft on the edge. I'm kind of pressing hard in the palette. These aren't the most pigmented in the world, but they are super duper blendable and easy to use. I quite like that blend, but I do feel like I've lost a little bit of the pink. Go back in with some of this pink and blend it out a little bit more. I'm just gonna intensify the brown a little bit more. Blend, blend. Okay, now that I've re-intensified the pink and the brown, I'm super happy with that. I love the way it looks. Now I guess it's time to move on to the shimmers. I'm excited. I'm actually just going to bring a little bit of the Beachaholic colour down closer to my nose area so we have more of a transition colour there. I don't really want to do like a cut crease, but I want to have some depth over here. Okay, so now I need to decide what colour to put on the lid. This is going to be the hardest part. I'm thinking maybe vitamin C, although Tide Pool is super duper colour my name. I feel like if I just do a brown smoky kind of eye, then I'm not really doing this palette justice. Um, I'm just going to swatch the super metallic shade, which is Sure Thing, Tankini and Tide Pool. They're like the majorly reflective ones in here. Oh man, they're creamy. These feel so weirdly powdery, but creamy at the same time. Like almost balmy. There's such a weird consistency. Oh, Look at those. Look at that blue. I really like the bronzy shade as well in the middle. Mm, oh god. Might as well swatch vitamin C and starburst while we're here. Sorry, sunburst, not starburst. I feel like those two colours together would be really pretty. I kind of want to put these on the lid. I think I'm going to do that and then try one of the super metallic shades like in my inner corner or something. I'm just going to pat out a bit of the base so hopefully the metallics will have a better chance. I'm not adding anything additional. I'm just kind of reactivating it a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to go on a little synthetic flat brush and I'm going to go in with the colour Vitamin C which is a gorgeous kind of aquamarine green. Look at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, the colour's there, but you guys can see what I mean by it. it's not crazy pigmented. Like, for this to really pop, I'd probably have to either layer it a lot or use, like, a white base. And the shadows feel very nice on the eyelid. I don't know how to <laughs> explain it. They kind of feel, like, almost conditioning. I don't, I don't know how to describe the, the kind of consistency of them. They don't feel too powdery or dry on the lid. Yeah, they feel kind of moisturising. I know that's a weird thing to call an eyeshadow, but my eyelid doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel like I've got a lot of product on my eyelid, which sometimes if you use a lot of eyeshadow, it can feel that way. No, this this feels nice on the lid. I'm just reading through some of your comments, and I just say, some of you guys are so sweet. I don't deserve people who are so nice following me. I, I don't know, I just do weird things on the internet. That that could be taken out of context. If anybody overheard me saying that, uh, makeup, I, I do makeup on the internet. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just had a comment from Noah and you're so sweet. Thank you so much. I'll be replying to you in a sec once I finish this eye look. Anyway, uh, let's finish this makeup look, shall we? Okay, so I've decided I'm going in with the metallic blue, uh, the deeper blue, which is called Tide Pool. And I also kind of want to use a bit of the yellow as well though. So, so let's just see where this goes. <laughs> I'm gonna try using the same brush that I use for vitamin C. It's not really picking up on the brush. It is more of like a creamy texture, so I'm just gonna keep trying. <laughs> okay, I managed to pick up a little bit. Oh my gosh. This is the color that actually made me buy the palette. It is beautiful. Let's try just dragging, is it? Eh. Oh, <laughs> that pretty much did not do a lot. Yeah, this shade can be like moved around in the pan. When I squished on the pan, can you see that? Leaves like an indent in there. So it's like a squishy kind of shade. I'm gonna try wetting the product a little bit. Even though it seems creamy, it's not depositing properly. So let's see what this goes on like now. That is quite a bit better. I'm just gonna try like blending this in a little. I'm gonna try going straight in with my finger and see if that helps the shine because it usually would. Oh, wow. That's the ticket. Oh my gosh. I have no words. That is truly beautiful. I really want to use that on somebody else. Is that weird? <laughs> like, I want to do like a black smoky eye with this in the center of the lid. That would look insane. With maybe a little bit of mermaid's pigment by Peaches in like the inner corner or something. Oh my god, I'm getting so many ideas. <laughs> this has like a darker base to it that really helps it pop up. But I don't know if you can see, it's kind of darkening that green shade that we use. So I'm gonna go over it and kind of blend it a little bit more. See if we can brighten this up a little bit as well. I find it weird how the formulas are very different. I wish that they were all this metallic-y, but you know, whatever, it's pretty. I do actually like the colors together. They go really well. I wanna brighten on the inner corner a bit before adding a metallic. So I'm gonna go in with the color Sunburst. That picked up really well on the brush, like really quickly. And let's go on the inner corner here. Ooh, it's kind of creating like a lime green. I don't know if I like that or not. Here now, we're going with it. <laughs> I'm bringing it in the inner corner a little bit more so you can see like it's an actual yellow. We blend in, we persevering. <laughs> Just gonna bring the orangey color down a little bit more so it blends in with that yellow. This reminded me of sea turtles and I don't know why. <laughs> gonna kind of stamp over the blue by here to kind of blend it into the brown a little bit. This is so pretty but I also feel like it's very wearable. I feel like a summer cocktail right now. I want to be outside on a sunbed in the sun slathered with factor 50 SPF because I can't actually catch a tan <laughs> with a fruity cocktail in my hand. That is how I feel right now. <laughs> I am gonna add in a corner highlight, but I'll do that once all my base is done so you know it's not rubbed off in the process. So I'm gonna clean up the fallout, which to be fair, there isn't really any fallout from any of the mattes. It's literally just me where I dinged my face with my finger. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye. So I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, so I've just done the majority of my base makeup. I haven't done my brows yet, but I just wanted to finish up my lower lash line. If the lighting has changed, by the way, my, my actual bulb just died. So I'm just using my softbox right now. So <laughs> the lighting might have changed just a little bit. I've just added the P. Louise base to my waterline. I'm thinking about stamping the green in my waterline and see what it looks like. This shade is quite a bit dustier than the rest. Can you see there? I just put my brush into it and it's dusted up a little bit. Again, that doesn't bother me too much, but just in case it bothers you. Okay, so I think that's turned out pretty cool actually, and I like the way that that looks on the waterline. Again, these aren't crazy pigmented, so it's taken some building. And because it's a yellow based green, it was looking very similar to the yellow that we used in the inner corner, but I think you can clearly see that it's a green now on my waterline. Okay, to finish up the lash line, I added a bit of definition with Driftwood on the outer corner, and then just blended it out with Beachaholic. I added a bit of Sure Thing, which is the peachy metallic to the inner corner, which is really, really pretty. It's a soft, peachy gold, it's stunning. That is the finished eyes. I think it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows, do my mascara and lashes, etc. All right, you guys, so here is the finished look. I feel like these lashes are a bit much for this look like they are so long and in my face but you know what it's fine we're just gonna ignore them <laughs> if I can because they're right in my eyelid 
I really love the way that this has turned out. It is bright and colourful. I feel like it's super duper wearable. If you're kind of afraid of colour and going in with like the brights and the neons and things, I feel like this is super pretty, but it's not in your face. It's not obnoxiously bright, but it still gets the point across. The formula on these shades is so good. The mattes were amazing. They were so blendable. They weren't the most pigmented thing in the world, but they were buildable. I felt like they were one of the easiest matte formulas that I've ever used, to be fair. I could just build and blend, build and blend. It was such a nice experience working with these shadows. I just realized you're askew and my background looks off, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move you a second. Okay, because that was gonna bother me. I'm I'm sorry. I gotta I gotta do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> the mattes were one of my favorite formulas to work with, just because they were so easy and so effortless to use. The only real matte that I didn't really use was the green. Obviously, I used it a little bit on my waterline, so I could actually use the color. And it was the same story with that. You can see it in my waterline, but again, it's not obnoxiously bright. It's quite a soft color, but it's still bright green. I don't know how they did it, but it's really nice. The two just standard shimmers that I used were really nice and smooth. They felt really soft when you put them on the lid. And as I said, just kind of like weightless. Again, not the highest shine but the pigment was decent. It did take a little bit of building and obviously there's not a lot of reflection to it. It just kind of has like a sheen. Usually with yellows they're quite dusty. This one didn't have that issue. The foils. Oh my god the foils. <laughs> I mean look at that foiled blue on my lid. I always find with foiled shadows the expectation versus reality is really disappointing but these ones they did not disappoint. Best used with your finger. You can get away with it with a brush, but it's just easier to just go in with your fingers and then just wipe it off with a wipe. I mean, you're gonna get the best results by doing that. It didn't go chunky. They felt almost wet on the lid, but it's not transferred, it's not moved, and it looks incredible. I tell you what now, these bronzy shades in here, Oh my god, I cannot wait to use them. Like this rose gold. Oh my god, this is gonna be my jam. It's the kind of formula that I've been kind of looking for in a palette. Because of the formula and because of the consistency, I feel like this is really gonna be user-friendly and beginner-friendly. And also the packaging is gorgeous. Like look at this, this just looks like summer. Ooh, I just realized my eyes kind of match it. I did not mean for that to happen, but I'm kind of matching. <laughs> but yeah, I can see myself using this quite a lot because not only do I have, you know, my pops of color, but also I have my neutrals and I have my bronzy tones. I know people may look at this and say like, oh, it's just a warm tone palette with a few pops of color. And it kind of is, but also isn't. When I think of warm tones, I think more red base and these are more like peach. And these are the tones that I will be going for 100%. I love this, especially for summer. It's got that slight brightness, but it's still neutral. I I really like this palette. And for the price as well, I feel like Jouer as a brand is more high-end. And for them to come up with a palette that's more on the affordable side, don't get me wrong, it is still expensive for a palette. I feel like it isn't in perspective. And you've got like Anastasia coming out with palettes for like 46. Jeffree Star, you know, you know what I mean? I would put them in the same range as them, but this is 26 pounds. I'm really impressed with this. I'm so glad the blue shade drew me in and inspired me to make this look. So yeah, I am thoroughly impressed with this and it makes me excited for summer. Yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you think about this eye look? Do you think it's wearable? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe by hitting the red button down below and hit the bell button so you get notified of my uploads. If you like the makeup look, please leave a thumbs up so I know and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, bye guys. So I got this off Beauty Fit. I'm gonna just this is the darkest palette in the <laughs> wood. I quite like that Ben. Oh my god. <laughs> How do people do this? <laughs> uh, like what? My nose gets in the way. Is my nose that big? <laughs>